Hey, you're watching HuffPost Live. I'm Alicia Menendez. It's time for our community sound off, where members of our community send us some of their favorite stories from the Huffington Post, and we dissect them one by one. Joining us today is Brian Dockery. He's a blogger at commonsensepolitics.net. Joining us, Dylan Gorski is a student at Berea College. Kyle Ewart is a comedy writer, and Samantha DeRose is a teacher. Thank you all so much for joining us. Let's move on to this next article. SNL mocks Mitt Romney with a Bain Capital attack ad. Kyle, did you find this ad effective? I'm not sure in which way it was supposed to be effective. Uh, I did. I mean, uh, I as far, like I uh, I do comedy, so like I always look to SNL kind of as like a, a good you know commentary on the current status of you know, politics in the country. And I'm always excited whenever they come back from summer uh, and they get to show their opinion of what's going on. And I don't really think, I mean, sure, it, it was a tack ad on Romney that they were kind of spoofing, but they, I think they were just more overall spoofing the, the fact that these attack ads are sometimes ridiculous, uh -huh. uh, which, uh, I, I mean, I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was great. I mean, Samantha, when I watched it, what I took away from it was that they were, as much as they were mocking attack ads, that they were also mocking this Bain Capital attack against Romney, basically acting as though he was responsible for the entire downfall of America. I, I thought it did a good job of poking fun at Team Obama. Oh, absolutely. I, I saw it. Uh, I was telling the guys earlier, I watched it yesterday on Hulu Plus, and um, I did find that it, it absolutely was more of a poke at Obama. And, you know, a lot of the Democrats pointing fingers at Romney for being the head of Bain Capital and bringing it down. I, I thought it, it, it did what it was supposed to do. I think that's exactly what it was supposed to do. Dylan, does this make you love SNL? I liked the segment. I thought it was good. I it was it highlighted the fact that they have ridiculous attacks going at him. I'm not sure that the Bane uh, that the Bane ads hit home with America. Um, they don't hit home with me personally. I mean, I I business is business. I under, I do believe that um, Romney probably created more jobs than he killed. Um, I think he's a smart businessman. I think overall what he did with Bain was probably good for the economy instead of bad. And so I don't know that those Bain um, commercials, uh, I don't know that they hit home with everybody. Do they hit home with the people who are out of a job right now, which there are millions and millions of them? Some of them they do, but not all of them, I don't think so. I mean, what I don't I know about you guys, but I'm waiting for Nancy Pelosi's opinion on these. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure oh, that'll she... be coming soon. I'm sure she's just happy that it is not she who is being parodied in this ad. You, you know, there was for so long when these Bain attacks first came out, there was an entire class of Washington pundits who sort of expressed the same thing you expressed, Brian, which is, I don't know that this is resonating. I don't know that it's actually connecting with voters. And yet, when you look at polling, to take us back to polling one more time, you do see a lot of Americans saying, I don't think Mitt Romney understands my life. I don't know that he speaks for my values. And Samantha, Samantha, that's where I read them as having been effective, that he wanted very much to champion his business record, to run on that record. And I think the Obama campaign has done an effective job of drawing into question the very thing that Mitt Romney thought was his strength. 